guys, welcome back to Life for Creativity. And in today's video, we'll be making chocolate mousse. So, for this, what you will need is chocolate, two of those, some double cream, two of those as well, and then bowl and all the other things that we need. So, if that sounds exciting for you, let's get started. So, guys, the first step is get any chocolate you guys can pick whatever chocolate you want i'm picking dairy milk here as you can see um you need two packets of this you'll you'll find out why later but you just open this whole thing up it was cracked i kind of snapped it before opening it well it doesn't matter what we need to do is we need to break this chocolate piece by piece so it was easy at first and then it started getting harder because there was more pieces you know and more thickness to it and we just kept, I just kept breaking it until the whole thing was broken. Make sure they're tiny pieces, guys. They should finally look something like this, all pieced up and all broken and everything. You put it into a microwavable bowl. Yes, you might end up making a mess, but it's fine. Then what you need to do is you need to microwave it for 50 seconds. And it's like here, as you can see, it's melt the microwave and melted. Now you need to get double cream and put just a little bit first just start off like nice and easy just start off with a nice good amount yes mix that all the satisfaction Oof. look at that satisfaction guys it isn't it so satisfying let's it let's give it a moment guys that all together add a bit more it won't finish all like all of it but carry on mixing and carry on adding until the whole thing is finished so you do that and let's give it a moment again guys time add the rest of the double cream to the thing it start getting looking really thick really delicious and yeah so let's give it another moment guys what we do here is we get a separate bowl it does not need to be microwave make microwavable we just add the double cream into the bowl like that, the whole thing guys, the whole thing, don't be afraid guys, so just add the whole thing and then we need to mix it for no matter how long it takes, it should start thickening up, firstly it starts off with bubbles but then you know it gets thicker, you know, it gets to the consistency we like, so just carry on doing that, mix, 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 mix until we get what we like. After that, after like 5 to 10 minutes of mixing, it should somewhat look like this. The thickness, oof, look how thick, look at the difference guys. It should be like stiff, you know, like a stiff whipped cream. Yeah, and you just carry on mixing it. Make sure you don't mix it too much because then it's just going to become watery, so don't do that. And that you, and still you need to mix the last mixture to this one, so just don't mix it too much. But yes, yeah, so now what we need to do is we need we need to add in the chocolate the chocolate mousse oof does that look delicious add the whole thing do not be shy <laughs> and gently together everything should still be really nice and thick and satisfying and just keep mixing guys and you should be fine
And voila, we have made the cream, the nice, delicious texture that we like. And you just add it to whatever cup you want. I had these really fancy, cute pink cups at home. So I thought, why not just add it to that? And oh my god, was I so impressed with how it turned out. BTW, it tastes delicious. It tasted amazing. So I really highly recommend making it. What I did was, then I got three blocks of chocolate, like a literally a whole row of chocolate, and I put it in there just for like a little surprise, and it made it taste way more better, guys. Just me, did. Chocolate makes everything taste better. I did that, and I added it to every single one of them, and it was really fun to make this because it was really quick and easy to make, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys at home we are capable of making this. Just buy some double cream and chocolate. Literally two ingredients. So guys, what I did after that, I mixed the top of the cream up, yeah, I like scraped some chocolate up, I made it into some flakes with the rest of the chocolate I had, and I just sprinkled it on top. Oh, did this make this taste even better than better. Boy, did it taste delicious. My little brother absolutely loved it. So did my family. Everyone loved it. Trust me, guys, I really highly recommend making this. Don't be shy guys, add more if you want to, add a lot if you want to, just add more texture to it, add more taste to it and trust me it's way worth it. So yeah that's me just adding the chocolates to the top guys. So that's it guys, that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe, like, turn post the notification bell on and comment down below if you really really enjoyed today's video and if you want me to do more like this for you guys. And I really, really, really enjoyed today's video. They look absolutely delicious. Couldn't wait to eat these after the video. And yeah, guys, remember stay creative and don't stop smiling, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>